Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about 10 benefits of doing a PhD in the US. And these are benefits which are going to accrue to you if you do your PhD in any of the US universities. So let's begin. Now the number one fact is that the US has most of the top universities in the world. And if you look at any of the global university ranking, whether it is the QS ranking, it's the Times ranking, the Shanghai ranking, and so on, you will find that among the top 20 universities, more than 15 universities or so are from the United States. And this is a fact which is going to benefit you enormously because what ends up happening is that most of the US universities are very well renowned. And this is primarily because they are very good in terms of research. So they publish papers which are cited heavily and also the faculty are such that they have a good amount of citations. There are a lot of Nobel Prize winners scattered around the university and also the H index of many of these professors and scientists is very high and therefore the rank of the university itself goes up. Remember universities themselves have an H index and this is pretty high for most US universities. Now, one of the reasons this has happened over the course of many years is that there is a very strong research culture in US universities. Essentially, whatever was there in Europe, specifically in Germany, at the end of World War II migrated to US and therefore a very strong research culture has come up. Also, the presence of various exams such as the GRE make sure that most of the graduate students are of a very high quality, both in terms of their command over the English language or their command over mathematics and quantitative aspects of any different subject. So that gives the US educational system a lot of strength. It is also very open culture, so it is open to criticism. This is something which is very important because you need an open society, a democratic society, if you are going to question various things and therefore if you are trying to be somebody who comes up with solutions to problems which are ill-defined then you need to be somebody who lives in one of these open societies and the US is such a society. Now the number two advantage is that US has well-planned research activities and essentially whenever you join as a PhD student most of the time you will be working on a proposal which has been already fixed and decided by your PhD supervisor. So very often your advisor has written a proposal to various funding bodies, maybe the National Science Foundation, maybe one of the departments of the government such as the DOE, the National Institutes of Health and so on and he has obtained a lot of funding to do this research and when you come you essentially have your problem drafted out in front of you in terms of this research proposal, there is a very clear timeline for doing this research. There are also going to be periodic reviews by the people who give funding about your research. And also there is going to be monitoring by a committee of professors within the department. So what will happen with this is that you will probably graduate in three to five years because your supervisor doesn't want to keep you any more than necessary and any more than the funding will sustain your scholarship. So remember that most of the people who are doing PhD in US are getting funding from one of the sponsored research projects which are obtained by their supervisor. Now the third point is well-oiled labs. And what I mean by this is not only you get a lot of the latest equipment and you get a open work culture as far as the labs are concerned, but you also get very helpful students and staff. And these are people who are going to make your life much more smoother as far as the university life is concerned. Remember that in many countries, the staff are not very friendly. They are difficult to work with and so on. There are language problems and therefore you will have great difficulty in getting the various staff to help you to work with the sophisticated equipment which is often required in modern research. and. Uh, US culture is very open, therefore you can very quickly go for lunch and have pizzas with your classmates and with your co-workers and therefore what happens is that you build a very good working relationship with these people and they are always willing to help you in terms of your research. 
Now, the fourth issue is top conferences and many of the international bodies which hold some of the top conferences such as the IEEE, the ACM, the SIAM, the APS, AIAA and so on, they are all societies which have a lot of their conferences within the US geography itself and therefore it's very easy for you as a student to visit all these different conferences and to present your paper there. Now if you have been getting funding from any of the US government institutions or the private sector, there will be money in these grants to essentially go to conferences and most of the time if you are a graduate student you get much reduced registration fee and this greatly helps if you are wanting to take part in any conference. Remember there is no visa required to attend a conference in the US as long as you are legally in the US in a visa and of course that would be required because it's going to be very hard to attend a US college if you are not a legal person. Now the fifth point is the internal PhD examination structure and in contrast to some of the countries in Europe and India and some other parts of the world, what happens in US is that the entire PhD process is inside the university. So you have your professor and you have a committee of professors from within the department. Maybe there is one person from outside your department and these people essentially decide on your PhD comprehensive exam. You have to give a PhD qualifying exam and so on and there is a final thesis committee which consists of five or six professors who are all from within your department and maybe one person is from outside the department. So what happens with this case is that all the people know the various strengths and weaknesses of the department. They also know what kind of equipment you have access to, what's the level of various facilities in the department and so on. And therefore, they are not going to throw curveball questions at you like why didn't you do this particular experiment or why didn't you go to this particular conference because sometimes foreign examiners may not be aware of the situation in the candidate's own home country or the restrictions under which they have to do their work. Now, the next point number six is that there is a very good qualifying examination. And this is one of the strengths of the US PhD system is that there is a written qualifying exam and this exam actually is based on some of the courses you take in the university and of course you have to give this qualifying exam and once you have passed this exam you can do the PhD. Now one of the reasons this exam is very important because most of the learning you actually end up doing in the PhD takes place through these qualifying exams and so on and this provides you an opportunity to review your entire background. So for example, if you are somebody studying in the mechanics area, giving the qualifier would mean that you will be brushing up various aspects of solid mechanics, fluid mechanics, mathematics and so on and therefore you will be very up to date and all this knowledge will essentially move from your short term memory to long term memory and therefore it will greatly strengthen your capacity as a researcher. So this is something which helps you build a lot of strength as far as the different subjects are concerned. Now the next point is the good quality of PhD supervisors and of course what happens in US is that there are people coming from around the world. So you will find that most of the departments will have a very diverse faculty from different parts of the world and all these people tend to be very ambitious. That's something which defines the US system in general is that there are many immigrants who are present in the academic system and all these people are very ambitious and so what happens some of this ambition rubs off onto you as a student. And so you will find that your advisor is always interested in writing more papers, he is interested in writing in high impact journal, he wants to go to the top conferences, he may be aspiring to become a fellow of the society in which he is working in and so on. And so he is certainly going to drive you very hard so you will not have the problem of having a monk like supervisor which can happen in certain countries where the professors are more detached in nature. Now the next point is diversity and this becomes important to certain people if you are belonging to a certain race, of a certain gender or of a 
complex gender then what happens is that in many countries you may have to hide your personality you cannot bring your complete self to the workplace as they say and so on and so these sometimes limit your creativity as a person now if you are in the US it's a very liberal culture as far as the university is concerned and so you will not face any of these issues in terms of diversity and they are not going to create a problem for you now the next point is about coursework and this I find is a very important part of the US PhD system is that you have to take a lot of courses sometime as many as 8 to 10 courses even though you are a PhD student and one of the things this coursework lets you do is that it lets you get a lot of breadth in the area so what sometimes happens is that you may be somebody specializing in say solid mechanics but as part of the coursework you may take some courses in computational fluid dynamics machine learning and so on and later in life maybe 10 years later you may find that some of these courses may benefit you in changing your research problem or addressing a new research problem which is multidisciplinary in nature now i find this to be a big difference between us phds and uk phds for example because uk phds often do not take much courses and that's the same kind of culture which is prevalent in europe also so one of the advantages is of course they may be able to get that phd in three years or so and in us it may take four to five years to get your phd but do remember that these courses are going to help you they are also required because you finally need to take the phd qualifying examination and this of course is something which tests your background on the various courses you have taken finally last tenth point is in the end you will find that there are two things which are going to be important in your research career one is the english language and the second is quantitative skills and if you are in the us you essentially start building on both these domain it starts with giving the gre examination and if you are somebody who has given the gre you essentially start building your verbal skills you start building your quantitative skills so this is important to realize that even the guys who are doing humanity social sciences and liberal arts in the us have taken the gre therefore they know basic amount of math and they can do quantitative modeling in their entire problem or they can use mixed methods and the guys who are essentially coming from the science and engin engineering backgrounds they can write much better than many people around the world because they know all the complicated words such as tergiversate and so on which are given in GRE and then what happens is that their vocabulary is so much better they are able to handle all these rephrasing issues which are required if you don't want to be guilty of plagiarism and this gives them a head start in writing and you will see that many foreign students also who come to the US because they have given GRE they are very good in writing English and after some time they also become very good in presentation because there are a culture of making presentations at US universities all the time and also there is a culture of presenting your work at top conferences where you are asked very severe questions so there is an open culture in US that you are always going to be grilled on a presentation whatever your presentation is and this does help to make the people much stronger as far as research is concerned so these were the 10 benefits about doing a PhD in the US I hope this video was useful to you and I will see you in a video sometime soon see you then